hope everyone is well and welcome back to a new After Effects tutorial. Um, a while ago I was working on a concept for a clothing brand. I wanted to visualize how people could turn a certain moment into a photo for their Instagram story. So I wanted to quickly show this process in an animation. And later I realized this would actually make a nice and fun little tutorial. So here we are. And let's just jump into it. So in order to create this, we need a few mockups. I'll make sure to put the links in the description down below. But first of all, we're gonna need the user interface of the Instagram stories. We also need a mockup of somebody holding an iPhone. Uh, we need to tweak this a little bit, but I will get into that. And finally, we need a video to work with. So here's something I recorded with my iPhone. Nothing special, but um, it works for this tutorial. So I put my feet up and this is the moment where I want to create a screenshot or photo for the Instagram story. Let's start with the Photoshop work. Let's start with the Instagram story interface. Uh, like I said, this is just a mock-up I downloaded but uh, we need to tweak it a little bit. So first of all, let's get rid of the background. We don't need the tag user. We probably do want to change the username. So uh, let's turn that into film that. And of course, we want to move this time a little bit, something like this. If you want, you could change the thumbnail. I'm not gonna do that right now, but if you want, you could. And now let's just save this. Okay, now on to the iPhone X 10, whatever mockup. Um, there's a lot going on and we actually don't need a whole lot. So uh, let's cut out what we don't need. We don't need the background. And we actually don't need anything in the screen. We want it to be empty or transparent actually. So, hmm, there's no option to do that, but I'm sure we can quickly fix it. Let's see what's behind this layer. Okay, so that's actually the shape of the screen. So what you have to do is command click on this layer and it will be selected and now select the iPhone in hand layer and just hit backspace and make sure to turn this screen layer off and voila there we go that's all we need so now just save this and now we can go to After Effects so make a new composition um, instead of a normal 1080p video, we're gonna turn this around. So the width is gonna be 1080 and the height is going to be 1920. Frame weight, whatever works for you, I'm gonna go for 25 for now. All right, there we go. And now you have to import uh, the tree files I just talked about. So we have the clip from my iPhone we have the Instagram story interface and we have the iPhone mockup. So let's just start by importing the iPhone 10 mockup. We will have to scale it down, obviously. Maybe something like this. And now insert the Instagram story. And we can just move this behind the mockup. Hmm, I guess this wasn't really made for the iPhone 10. So I have to go back to Photoshop and fix a few things. So maybe I have to get rid of the gradients to make it work. Just save it again. Let's see what we got now. Let's just create a darker background so we can see what we're doing. I guess we will be able to get away with this. But we're gonna have to make a few tweaks. I'm gonna duplicate this layer. So hit Command D. And I'm gonna create a mask for the top part. And now I'm gonna switch to the other layer. And I'm gonna make a mask for the bottom part. And now I'm just gonna move this layer down because it's a bit too high, I guess. 
something like this should work it isn't perfect but uh good enough for this tutorial i guess now we can insert the clip i shot with my iphone let's just insert that here we don't need the audio so let's just turn it off and let me scale this down So this is the frame we want. So we need to freeze it. And in order to do that, again, I'm gonna duplicate this layer. Actually, I need to scale it a little bit more first. Maybe something like this, yep. Okay, so now we can duplicate it. Again, hit Command D. And now go to Layer, Time, Freeze Frame. And now just trim this back a little bit. And now, as you can see, the frame will freeze. Perfect. So now we can start working on the actual animation. So we're gonna pre-compose this hand. So select the layer of the iPhone 10 mockup and the layers of the interface. Right click and hit pre-compose. And just call it iPhone. So at this point we wanted to pop up so create a keyframe for how it eventually should look and then just go back a few frames create another keyframe for the position and just drag this down and you guys know me so I'm just gonna select these two keyframes and I'm gonna slap ease and whiz on it apply uh, ease out And there we go. So we don't want the video to start out that small. So let's create a keyframe for the scale and scale it back to a hundred percent or at least it should fill up the screen. So 52% should be fine. This should actually go a lot faster. We need to rework that a little bit, but it's fine for now. And now we're gonna add some uh, white solids. Or, of course, you can pick any color you like. I'm gonna pick something random. So I'm just gonna call this left. Okay, right one. We need a top one and we need a bottom one. Okay, so let's start with the left one. These have to be below the uh, iPhone mockup like this. And now you need to move it. You need to be able to see the iPhone and its content. So just find that sweet spot and do that for the right part as well. Do it for the top part. We need to do some fixing over here. As you can see, you have a little part over here, a little part over there. Um, I guess we just have to create a mask to fix this. So just very quick and dirty. Use the pen tool to create a mask. Voila, there we go. Looking a lot better. Okay, so I'm just moving the left and right part till we get the perfect framing. So that looks good. Now just go for the bottom part. There we go. That looks perfect. But we still need to animate this. That would be the final step for today. So let's just get into that. Let's start with the uh, left part. Create a keyframe for the position. And create a, another keyframe where you move the left part outside of the screen. So of course it should come from the left side. And again, just slapping ease and whiz on it. 
again add easy ease to it and now you see what's going on here and we will have to do that for all of the different sides Okay, so that already looks pretty interesting. It's still a little buggy over here. That's because the video is scaling too fast. So what we can do is move these four uh, sides back a little bit. Like so, let's see what happens now. Yep, that's it looks a lot better that's perfect actually um, one final thing you can do to spice it up is to add a sort of flash effect to the uh, photo or to the video I should say go to the layer that we just froze and look for an effect called brightness and contrast and just apply that and now let's just create a keyframe for the brightness. We don't want that to take too long, so just create another keyframe where it should end. Go back to the first one and just drag this up. See, that way you get this screenshot feel to it. Pretty cool, pretty neat. Um, Sorry if this tutorial was a bit messy, some things happened that were a little unexpected and I guess that's just a real world situation, you always run into things. But I'm glad we were able to fix them and um, yeah the end result is pretty cool. Hope the steps were clear, hope it inspired you guys to create your own stuff and as always if you have any questions please drop a comment below and I'll see you guys next time, bye bye.